Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a double unboxing for you guys. Kind of like an Ipsy versus BoxyCharm situation. So since we're doing twice the unboxing, let's just jump right into it. But before we get started, let me just remind you that subscribing to my channel is absolutely free. So click that subscribe button. If you guys like these unboxing videos, I have plenty more on my channel, so I will link a few down below so you guys can go check them out. And while you're checking out those videos, you might as well subscribe to my channel. So thank you in advance for clicking that subscribe button. Okay, now let's jump into it. So first I'm going to unbox or unbag my Ipsy bag. So I did kind of sneak peek in here a little bit, but so the first thing that's not in the bag but like in the packaging is this guy and this is the bkr paris water balm ultra hydrating glossy lip treatment an innovative glossy balm conceived in san francisco and formulated in paris for the girl who when asked what she wants out of life says everything this softening reparative treatment is a proprietary transformative complex of rose algae and essential biolipids with a peppery french rose scent i don't know what peppery rose scent means but let's try it mm. it's like vaseline but i think thicker than vaseline but it does smell good if you like the scent of roses it and it is a little peppery. What? That's so weird. It's like black pepper. Yeah. That mixed with rose. Which is kind of weird, but I really like the rose scent. So this is the bag for this month. And this is giving me all of the mermaid feels. Look at that. It's kind of holographic. I don't, you can't really see on camera, can you? But it's really cool. It reminds me of like a swimsuit. Okay, so the first item actually did take a look at already and it is this nail polish and yes it is the nail polish that I have on my fingers right now um, it's by the brand Sundays I believe and it's the shade number 45 and it is 10 free non-toxic vegan and cruelty free so that's pretty cool I don't know how I feel about this I did just put it on today and the formula is kind of patchy I would say you kind of have to glop it on to get like even coverage and even still I had like patchiness so I don't know the color is really really pretty though the color is growing on me but the since you have to do like so many layers or like a thick layer um, it takes forever to dry and that is why there's like fingerprints all you can't see it but there's like fingerprints all over my fingernails I waited I saw like two episodes of criminal minds and it still did not dry so but it's all right with a top coat I purposely didn't use a top coat because I wanted to see how it would look but I did use a base coat and yeah that's what it looks like there's a few scuffs here and there but mm. but I like it uh, I like the color I don't have any color like this in my whole nail polish collection, which is a lot. So the next item in the bag is Pure Heels by Nature Village. And it is a pore clear black charcoal peel off mask. Ooh, I have, oh, I, have, I bought one, but I still have yet to try it. So I guess I'll try this one before. Well, when I do try this out, I will definitely leave an update in the description box below. So make sure to check that out. The next item in the bag is this little guy and this is by it say it say uh it's i t t s e with the little you know thingy you know accent and let's see it is an eyeshadow Oh, yes, and it's magnetic. It says it's magnetic, too. The shade is changing to flats. It is like this um, dark, plummy purple. It says paraben-free, so that's good. That's the shade right there. I love this shade for eyeliners, so I am guessing I would most likely use it 
like close to the lash line and smudge it out. It look really pretty. But I'm going to try this out because I think I may have other like eyeshadows in the boxy charm, so I'll try to use this in conjunction conjunction in conjunction with those eyeshadows. So we'll set this aside for now. And the final item in the box is this Ico London skinny liquid liner. Ooh. And it's in the shade black. Can't ever go wrong with black. It's smudge proof. Oh, the shade is pitch black. Sorry. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I love getting like a fresh new felt tip liner. Once it fades, it's like it's it really irritating to draw a line, but oh my gosh, when it's like a fresh one, it's amazing. So that was all the items in my ipsy bag so let's move on to boxy charm all right so the theme for this month's boxy charm is road tripping that's pretty cute pretty cute so the first item in the box is this guy so this is the cello beauty eyebrow cream um we've gotten cello products before i believe and this is an eyebrow cream oh is it supposed to be like that? Okay, let's, what is this? Oh, okay. Does this have a shade? And the shade is Tantalizing Taupe. So this is the brow product. Okay, so I just did my brows with this Chella Brow Cream, and I, I do like it. I mean, it filled in my brows pretty well. The only thing is there's no like spoolie, which for me, at least, it's like I need a spoolie when doing my brows, and this is just like too much of a hassle. I don't know. I felt like I had too many things in my hand, and like I couldn't hold my mirror. I couldn't, I don't know. I mean, the product itself is like really creamy and like I said, filled in my brows perfectly. It's just, I don't know. And I also prefer a thinner brush when doing my eyebrows. This is, this is pretty thick. So, I don't know. It's, it's all right. It's all right. And the color matched me as well. So that, that's a good thing. But still, it's all right. On to the next item. This is the Dr. Brandt No More Baggage. It's an eye depuffing gel. It says you can use it alone or under makeup, so... Let's try it. What do you guys think? Any difference between this eye and this eye? I don't know. I don't really see much of a difference, but... I mean, I don't think my eyes were that puffy to begin with, so I'll update any changes down below. Okay, so the next item. I'm just gonna go with this big item here. All right, so this is the Crown Brush Fuego Eyeshadow Collection. Ooh, oh my gosh, these look so pretty. <laughs> and these eyeshadow shades, they're so big compared to like you know, regular eyeshadows. This one, oh my gosh, it looks so pretty though. And let's see. Oh, I still have that purple eyeshadow underneath this one, but what? Wow, worst swatches ever but still, it looks so pretty. There aren't any names for the shades, but so far they swatched really well. So I'm really excited to use this. There's only two more items in the box, so I'm just going to let you guys know what those are and then I'll just use everything on my face. Yes. The next item is by Note Cosmetics. It is their Luminous Silk Compact Blusher. Yes, I get so excited getting blushes and oh my gosh and this is in the shade desert rose mm. 
desert rose. It's perfect for my channel. <gasps> yes, oh my gosh, I love this color. <laughs> I love peachy blushes and like peachy orange neutral blushes are my favorite and this is pretty much all of those. Wow, that is pigmented though and smooth. Oh, and it flips up and it has like one of those useless brushes that, you know, people throw away. And for the last item in the box, it this little to be thing. Um, this is by Wonder Beauty and it is the Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. This is the wand. It's like a little, uh, slightly curved. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so I am going to use all of these products and as many of those eyeshadows as I can, um, both from the Ipsy bag and Boxy Charm, and I will see you afterwards. So I tried out all of the products and they were amazing as usual. This is the shade that I have on my lower lash line and it blended out perfectly. I had no troubles with it and I really like the color, the really dark plum color. I really like it. This crown palette is incredible. I ended up using 8 out of the 10 shades that are in this palette and I loved all of them. The only one that didn't pack too much of a punch was this one but i mean it's a great brow bone highlight but for the inner corner i wanted it like really bright and it didn't really do that for me but that's okay because everything else was amazing um they blended so easily they're so smooth and yeah i really like the the look that i got i don't know it reminds me of fall this uh like purpley plummy orange shadow look you know what I mean the mascara was amazing it did uh, separate my lashes really well and I mean it wasn't the best mascara I have to be honest it wasn't the best but I mean it wasn't bad so I liked it this felt tip liner was amazing it was so dark and opaque this blush this blush I'm obsessed this is such a gorgeous shade and it matched perfectly with my look. So just overall very, very pleased. Oh, and if you guys are wondering what's on my lips, I just popped on this ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Barracuda and it matched perfectly, so. But again, I'll include all of the details in the description box or like somewhere over here for you guys, as usual. Okay, so my favorite items in the Ipsy bag were 
the eyeliner and the single pan eyeshadow. I really, really like these items. And my favorite items for this month's BoxyCharm is definitely this eyeshadow palette by Crown and this blush by Note. I am obsessed with these two items. I love it. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys got in your Ipsy bag and BoxyCharm. And let me know, did you like your box or bag? Did you hate it? Do you prefer something else? Did you get something different from mine? What did you think? Let me know. All right, guys, so that's it for my Ipsy bag and BoxyCharm unboxings. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.